Welcome to Love and Money Secrets TV. I'm your host, Dame Lillian Walker, and today we are talking about step number five. Step number five is meditate. Now, a lot of people don't realize, they hear the word meditate and they think about a monk booming out in some sort of mountain up in the Himalayas, far, far away, and they're just going, mm. that's not necessarily true. That's not the only form of meditation. The truth is there are many, many, many different types of meditation, some static, some dynamic, some with your eyes closed, some with your eyes open, some of them are walking meditations. Some of them are um, sitting down meditations. Others are lying down meditations. Other, others are standing meditations. So there's all sorts of uh, meditation types. I've tried many of them. But the key thing that, you know, that I want you to learn and to know and to acknowledge right now is that meditation means to know yourself. So it means for you to just quiet yourself down, slow down your breathing, so you can slow down your heart rate, so that you can slow down your brain waves, so that now you can distinguish, distinguish the true you who is in this place of peace, as opposed to the chattering monkey mind. And you learn to distinguish the voices of your monkey mind, which is the middle part of your brain. You have your frontal lobe, which is where all your emotional centers are in the frontal cortex. You have your monkey brain in the middle, the limbic brain system. And then you have the reptilian brain in the back of your head, which is it's activated when you have a fight or flight response. So you're going to learn through quieting of, of yourself. You use your free will to focus, sit down and say, I'm just gonna do five minutes. I'm just gonna do 15 minutes of meditation. I'm going to sit down, quiet my eyes, and I'm going to do this. And in doing so, you're going to recognize and you'll learn to distinguish the difference between your chattering monkey mind, your ego, which is always saying you're not doing this right, um, hurry up, um, everybody else can do this, but you, you're, you know, everybody else can do this, but not you. Um, you didn't get all the instructions. You're not sitting up straight enough. You're not, your spine's not straight enough. You're not breathing deeply enough. You're not dr breathing long enough. You're not, um, your eyes are not closed hard enough, or your eyes are not in the, um, uh, you know, you're blinking too much even though your eyes are closed, or there's too many twitches and itches all over my body, whatever. It's all the things that are not loving thoughts or loving conversation towards yourself. Because your, your true self, the true loving spirit being that you are only has positive uplifting things to do. Everything else is tearing you down, saying that you are falling short they're, you're worried that you're not doing it right, that you're not doing it fast enough, you're not doing it good enough. Everything is falling short of, if you notice that, that's one of the patterns. Your ego, trying to keep you based on all the past memories, thoughts and emotions that you have in your brain, it wants you to repeat that of the past and it's trying to keep you from experiencing a negative thing again so it keeps, on, it keeps you on a scratch record which makes you perpetuate and just repeat the bad experiences of the past. So you want to you want to stop that. So in meditation, you're just going to quiet yourself down and we're going to do 10 deep breaths. And I'm going to do a brief one right now. And then I'm going to direct you to two other places where you can get some meditations. One is the neural health reset, which is a three minute meditation anywhere where you feel pain in the body, where if you can, if you can feel it, reach out and touch it, you can heal it with the neural health reset in three minutes. And I will also refer you to a third meditation so you have another reference point, Go Love 20. It's a 15 minute meditation by Dr. Joe Dispenza. They're free, it's fantastic, and it'll get you to focus on love in your heart. So right now we're just gonna take a second, we're gonna do 10 deep breaths, and as you close your eyes, I want you to roll your eyeballs so that as your eyes are closed, your eyeballs are looking up that is going to increase your brain's um, ability to go into theta state quicker. 
and you're going to relax. And as you take the 10 deep breaths, you're going to inhale and exhale. And with each time you inhale and exhale, I want you to take your focused attention. You're gonna take your attention to the base of your spine and you're gonna focus and you're gonna visualize your attention and focus going up with your breath. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth energy centers. You're gonna hold it and down on the exhale. And deeper and deeper with every breath that you take, with every beat of your heart, you're going deeper and deeper and inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, third inhale, and exhale, deeper and deeper, with every breath that you take, with every beat of your heart, you're going deeper and deeper, inhale, Exhale, deeper, 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 drifting, dreaming, drippy, droopy, dropping, sliding, gliding, deep down, diving, down, 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 up, inhale, exhale. Deeper and deeper with every breath that you take, with every beat of your heart, you're going deeper, down, 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 drifting, dreaming, dripping, drooping, sliding, gliding, deep down, gliding, down, 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 down. Now in a moment, not yet, but in just a moment, you're going to take 10 steps down a flight of wide black stairs. And you're gonna start with your left foot. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. And now you're on the bottom level, the 10th step. As you allow yourself to be deep down, the deepest you've ever been, the most relaxed, from the top of your head down to the base of your toes, you're going to test your eyelids and the teeny tiny muscles in your eyelids have all relaxed with deep weights on them. And as you test them, when you check them, you'll see and notice and recognize that they no longer work. And you will know now that you're in the deepest state of relaxation that you've been in. You're embracing this alpha brain weight state that is going into theta. And you're gonna notice this golden door of opportunity that is right in front of you with a golden door knob. And on above the doorway, it says golden door of opportunity. So you're gonna open this door and you're gonna left, right, left, right. Step into this room of golden opportunity and in this room of golden opportunity, you see this bright, brilliant, yellow, glowing light that is warm and it is loving. And it is just showering every inch of your body. It's filling the entire space of the room. This beautiful golden light with little, little hues of white here and there. It's just this beautiful, brilliant gold light. And you just feel complete relaxation. You feel complete love and you feel joy, and you feel peace, and you're noticing that your heart is opening bigger and bigger and bigger, and you notice the feeling of feeling safe. You feel safe here in this golden door of opportunity room. This is your safe place. Your heart is open. It is open to receive love. It is open to heal. It is open to receive and to reveal to you the greater truths, the greater wisdom that have been locked in your heart 
for you to know and for you to grow. And as you continue in this place of heart and brain coherence, where your heart is now connected to your mind, to your brain, you're in a place of beautiful, loving coherence. You know that there are lessons to be learned. And as you embrace these lessons, some that you're conscious of, some that you're completely unconscious of, but you know that your unconscious mind has recorded and stored absolutely everything and it knows exactly what you need to heal. And so, with that, you pull up the energy inside your body, you pull it out, you put it in front of you. The white light and the golden light is showering love upon it. And you're gonna take your hands and you're gonna draw a golden frame around this. And with your dominant writing hand, you are going to write over this energy. And you're gonna trust that your subconscious mind and that your heart has your back and you are going to write down all the lessons that you have learned. You don't have to worry about running out of space because just like a web page, as long as you're writing, it keeps scrolling down. You are just gonna write, write, write everything and anything that you've learned from this experience. If there's an emotion that you need to speak out, say out as you're writing it, you can say it. I've had clients who have said, F you. They've actually said the four letter word. We're not gonna say that here now. But they might say, F you, F you, F you. Or they might say, I am grateful for this love. Whatever it is. So you keep writing. So write down all those lessons that you have learned. It doesn't matter that your conscious mind doesn't know what they are. Your subconscious mind knows exactly what those lessons are. So you just write, write, write. Just write to your heart's content. When you know that you've got it, you stop. Um, some people, as they're writing, sometimes they feel the need to say out loud something. If you do, um, I've had people who will just write or write and say F U F U F U F U F U F U F U F U. Um, or they'll actually say the four letter word. It doesn't matter, but you can just trust your conscious, tell your conscious mind to trust your subconscious because your subconscious knows exactly what those lessons are. So write, write, write. When you feel you're done and you know you've got it, you stop. And know that as you're writing, you won't run out of room because it's scrolling down just like a web page. So now that you're done writing those lessons, I want you to grab both sides of the frame. I want you to notice on the bottom right, there's a knob. Keep your eyes still closed. And you're gonna turn that knob to the left and you're gonna notice the change. Notice the feelings inside of your body. And now you're gonna take that knob and you're gonna turn it all the way to the right. And you're gonna notice how everything is whited out now. And I want you to again, notice the feeling in your body and notice what feels better. Does it feel better to dark black everything out or does it feel better to white everything out? You get to choose whatever feels better to you. White it out, black it out. And now you're going to grab both edges of the frame and you're going to shrink it down to the size of a postage stamp. You're gonna grab it and you're gonna throw it behind you and with your hand, you're gonna shoot it to the back wall going to be tacked onto the back wall of infinity, it is gone. Now, notice the feeling, notice the changes inside of your body, and now in a moment, not yet, but in just a moment, we're going to come back to our conscious state of awareness. We are going to be awake, and I am going to count three. So you're going to feel better, stronger, healthier, more refreshed, and day by day in every way, when you wake up every morning, you're going to feel better and better. So I'm going to count to three on the count of three. One, two, three, awake. Your meditation is done. This is a meditation. You can play this video back at any time. Whenever you start to feel those emotions and you feel that you still have things that you need to clean up, you can go through this particular meditation. I will put in the description below I will put the Neuro Health Reset Meditation in the description. You'll see the link to my, to my Facebook page where I did a Facebook Live when COVID first 
hit. Um, there were so many people that were reaching out to me all over the world 24 seven that I couldn't keep on doing it one-on-one -on -one anymore at that rate. And so I decided to do a Facebook Live so that no one would be kept in pain for whatever reason it was that they were experiencing pain, physical, emotional, from a, an injury, from disease of any sort, didn't matter. So I just wanted to put that in the hands of you so that you can re receive the relief of pain that you so much desire and want. And so in the description below, you'll be able to see that neural health reset explanation and you'll see me demonstrate that. That's a little bit different than this meditation that I did, but it's another meditation. That neural health reset is an actual neurosomatic process. It involves elements of meditation, elements of hypnosis, but the architecture is neurosomatics. It's using some neuroscience. And then the third thing that I'm gonna put in the description is Go Love 20, which Dr. Joe Dispenza so graciously did for us. He calls all of our, the advanced students genius mystic healers. And so he did that for us. He provided Go Love 20 this summer. I believe it was in, um, I don't remember exactly what month, but it was this summer. And um, we had over 100,000 people that got infected with the Go Love 20 love virus uh, within just a few weeks. So that is a wonderful med meditation for you to also view, do for yourself. You can focus on having an open heart, having that feeling of love in your heart, heal your heart, receive that healing. Now that breakup is in the past. You're embracing love, you're cleaning out everything, you're retaining the wisdom so now you can feel safe to love again without the baggage of the past. And you will attract new love because as you do this, as you recall in the previous steps, we talked about helping others. As you start to engage in this, you do go love 20, not only for yourself, you hold a person in mind that you want to send love to that needs healing, somebody that you want to forgive, somebody that you just want to genuinely shed love on, then that love will come back to you trifold. That's three times more because your inner world is going to um, be mirroring out in the outer world. And so now the outer world will mirror back to you all that benevolence, all that love, all that wonderful serendipitous, joyous surprises and good things where you're going to magnetize yourself. So this breakup could be the best thing that ever happened to you because this person showed you really who they were. They showed you why this could not continue on and you are learning and growing from this experience and it's not a bad thing. It was put there to show you things about you. We will always learn the most about ourselves when we are in personal relationships. And some relationships are only meant to be for a season or two or three seasons and other relationships, you know, romantic relationships are here for a lifetime, but you will grow. Make no mistakes, you will grow the most in a personal romantic relationship because you have to be intimate with that person. You have to open up yourself. They have to open up their self, themselves to you and they get to see a side of you that nobody else gets to see. And despite the fact that they see you with all your flaws, they're still in awe of you. They still love you. They still adore you. They always give you the benefit of the doubt. The right person will give you the benefit of the doubt that you're not doing or saying, or you haven't done something to hurt them on purpose. You, you, you're just doing things. Sometimes we do things out of ignorance or stupidity, or, I mean, there's a thousand and one reasons. Now, some people do things maliciously and you'll know who those people are, but there are others who, you know, sometimes we make innocent mistakes. And sometimes that person is making an innocent mistake too. And there, again, there are times that you just need to learn and grow from that experience and move on. And then you'll know if it's time for you to um, open your heart now to a new person without the baggage, without the bitterness, without the cynicism of what you've experienced before. Because just because that person did you wrong, did you dirty as some say, doesn't mean that the next person is gonna do that too. So let it go with a fresh slate, with a fresh clean 
open heart, you want to have that same reflected back to you too. Not that that person that's coming in your experience is going to bring the baggage of the past and expect you to do the same harmful things to them as their ex did to them. See how this works? It's like a full circle. Know that you can put that heart of intention in Go Love 20. Come back to the Neuro Health Reset as many times as you need to get rid of whatever pain you have. That Neuro Health Reset is not just good to solve, dissolve, resolve pain and help you heal your body, but it's also you can exponentialize wonderful things that are working for you that you want it to grow and magnify. It's also good for that, but that's another video altogether. So thank you for tuning in, tapping and turning on to how to get over a breakup in five steps. This is the fifth step. Remember to do that meditation that I mentioned before, go love, go love 20, do that. I would tell you to do it at least five times for people out there because then you'll have three times the amount of love and grace coming towards you. That's 15 love impressions out in the universe that you're putting. Can you imagine that? How awesome, the wonderful, serendipitous, cool things, unexpected surprises that are gonna come the more that you do. We have a whole group of mystics that we do this on a daily basis, spreading love and joy. Just 15 minutes, a complete stranger. And um, we find different people from all sorts of different mediums and we just spread that love. It's just a beautiful thing to do. But for right now, just focus on you, do it for yourself. Once you've done it for yourself a few times, then you can graduate to picking somebody that you pick your mother, your sister, your child, your neighbor, whoever, and just start to spread that joy. Okay? Um, the last thing I wanted to mention is that one of the reasons why I pick five that you want to want to do five impressions of this Go Love 20 is because five in the mystical teachings of Judaism and in Kabbalah, each number from zero to nine has a meaning. Like three, when something is triple, it's sanctified, it's made complete and holy. Um, five is the number of grace. So when you do a Go Love 20 for someone and you're doing it to five people, you are gifting, that's what grace is, an unmerited gift. It's an unmerited favor that is bestowed upon you for no reason other than because you have a loving heart. You have a loving beating heart in your chest, you qualify. Isn't that wonderful? So that's it, that's all it's all about. Thank you for tuning in, tapping in, turning on to this series. Tell a friend, make sure you to like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much for those of you. It always warms my heart every time I get a PayPal notification of someone else who has donated um, because that's an unexpected surprise. It helps me keep doing these videos, moving this forward. Um, for those of you who have booked private sessions one-on-one, -on -one, um, I don't take a lot of one-on-one -on -one, uh, clients because time is my most valuable resource and I only have so many hours in the day and I can reach more people doing more of these videos and writing my books but sometimes it's absolutely necessary. Some people absolutely positively need a one-on-one. -on -one. So for those of you who choose to do a one-on-one, -on -one, thank you also to you. I also wanted to say last but not least, for those of you who are sharing these videos, I appreciate it. Uh, so thank you for spreading the message. And as always, ciao for now, my friends and gems.